in this video i am going to discuss about how to uh, build a generalized linear model using proc gen mode in sas uh, we will take uh, an example where we will be using a binomial model so this is uh, a model um, that uh, that is usually uh, used in clinical research data so um, i'm going to take a clinical research data for this for illustrating this uh, one can use any kind of data so um, let me show you the data first so the data is like this uh, we have got uh, five different drugs and then um, there is a there is a continuous variable x um, and then uh, we have got responses and then number of trials so uh, there are five drugs and then drugs are tested against different subjects so uh, number of trials uh, for each experiment uh, is denoted uh, as n um, and then the number of uh, responses successful responses um, is denoted as r so for example for first observation um, the number of times the experiment was done was 10 and only once we have got a success so the um, number of response successful response is 1 similarly in the second case we have like 12 uh, number of times of experiments done um, and only twice uh, number of successes have been uh, reported so uh, this is a typical uh, binomial distributions where you uh, do experiments for a couple of times and you get um, you get a number of uh, uh, successful attempts so uh, this this data is uh, uh, a data distributed uh, binomially so uh, we can uh, use a logistic regression in order to model for the um, causal aspects of the explanatory variable x to the proportion of successes um, we will be using proc gen mode in SAS so the syntax is like this proc gen mode data uh, the name of the data is drug we are using the uh, variable drug as the class variable because we have got five different uh, drugs so that is used as a class variable and then model statement and then we are modeling for the proportion so that proportion is binomial distributed so proportion is nothing but r by n r is the number of successful responses n is the number of trials and that always lies between 0 and 1 because uh, number of successful responses cannot be greater than the number of trials so it's, it's a restricted data that restricts between 0 and 1 and there are two explanatory variables one is a continuous variable x um, and then uh, drug itself is, a con um, is an explanatory variable which is also a, a class variable uh, the distribution here is the binomial distribution and the link function is logit um, in order to get uh, the confidence interval uh, we are using uh, the option lrci let us run this similar to what we see in a traditional linear models we will have the model information first the number of observations and then uh, the next thing is the number of class uh, we have got five classes here uh, because we have got five different drugs in our data set um, followed by the number of uh, response profiles um, events and non-events similar to what we see in a logistic regression but remember here we have a proportion instead of uh, instead of actual one and geos here and then criteria for assessment of goodness of it uh, the most popular one is the uh, deviance but uh, just by looking at the deviance is not uh, sufficient although it gives a good indication of uh, whether a model is good or not but um, that there is another uh, uh, that indicator that we can see is the uh, uh, the uh, value by the degree of freedom so that can also be used as uh, a criteria for model selection and then the other one which is important is the um, AIC and BIC criteria that is used for uh, checking the uh, parsimony of the model. Um, the algorithm is converged, so that is also important. If it is not converged, then uh, we cannot interpret anything in the result.
so that's the first thing we need to see uh, and the last one is the max analysis of maximum likelihood uh, estimates um, so uh, the uh, estimates are here and we have the confidence uh, interval um, of, of the estimates uh, and then chi-square statistics we can check for the confidence um, significance level and we can explain the significance level pretty much the same way that uh, we have been doing in other uh, models um, like traditional models like logistic regression or a uh, multiple regression model.